Right, so 2108. I'll try something different, I think, Sicilian. Okay. Don't mind this variation. Target D4. Um, Five six. I wonder if I don't know E five here is useful. Well, I'll just castle. Maybe Bishop G four. I don't know actually. Um, is White better here already, or um, should I aim to play E five? I'll provoke F four. Provocation. Okay, so knight d7. There's quite a bit overextended here. I know it looks great, but uh, there's weaknesses there to be exploited. For example, castles knight g4 and I'm threatening queen b6. Okay, he has got that. What about b5 though? A fast b5 could be kind of annoying because then bishop a6 and this diagonal is annoying. <clears throat> okay, now queen b6, and how is white castling that easily? Was for follow-up with bishop a6, knight c5 to d3 looks as though it's going to be very tasty. Um, interesting. This is very interesting indeed, actually. It's, I mean, it's a lot of pressure now. After the initial provocation, I've played a sort of Benko Gambit now, and there's there's a lot of vacuum to exploit in White's position. Provocation, you know, it seems as though you know you're playing silly, you know, silly moves, and the opponent's like punishing you, but it's just short-term punishment if they have got this vacuum of weaknesses to potentially exploit. So um, that knight c5 to d3 looks like very tasty stuff. If queen d4, I don't know. Um, Oh. Can I actually just get away here with um, knight c5? I wonder. Or do I want the queen's queen on? I probably do want the queen on for a bit longer. But then queen c5, knight a4. So I don't know. Uh, queen c5, knight a4. Knight's a bit awkward there. In fact, an e2 would be loose, so I think I'll try and keep the queen on a little bit more. Try and keep the pressure, sort of Benko Gambit style. Um, right. Now, queen c7. So, still can't castle because I'm like on e2. Okay, now knight c5. No. Um, I can stop casting altogether with bishop e2. I want to just um, have a bit of pressure here. Bring the other rook to bear on white's um, position. In fact, check here or bishop e2. I don't know. Check seems useful. Definitely, it's got a Benko Gambit flavour to it, this position. Um, group takes b2. Um, okay, I'll let white, I think, castle because I can't really stop casting. Unless knight e4, bishop e4, rook b2, but then white still castles. Um, well, knight e4, bishop e4, bishop z3. Oh, I'll, I'll let White Castle. This, this, there's still persistent pressure here. Okay, now Knight H5. So hitting G3 and C3. In fact, Knight C5 to D3 is also still tempting. Um, it's like White's a bit tied in knots with all this pressure. I think taking on G3 is. Um, Interesting. If g4, maybe knight g3. 
Yeah, I think because then this diagonal is also emphasized. I think some pieces getting exchanged off. It's not a bad idea. Um, so the rooks attacked, the bishops attacked. So apparently, just to win the exchange. Also, rook g7, rook g2, and queen a1 might be on the cards. Or rook takes f2 and queen a1 if if rook f2. So um, here, this is interesting indeed. I suppose rook e1. I got any major tactics going on there? I think there should be, but I can't see c1. Rook e1. Rook takes g2. King takes. Queen takes a1. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, I'll play rook c2 here. Just to be annoying. It's going to be time for this um, either bishop f1 or rook g2. Okay. Now bishop takes f1, just winning the exchange. And if queen c3, bishop c3, and I'm attacking the rook. So this can't be good because I've got rook g2 here on this on this bishop f1. Now rook g2, then queen a1. So I think white's fallen to pits here. Yep, that was a sweet game. So uh, that fast b5 seemed to knock white for six in the opening. Um, let's go back, sorry. So um, very fast b5 off the provocation. Because white still hasn't castled. And this is a very nice bishop now on this diagonal. So it's a bit awkward for white even to try and castle, which is very good news. And even after casting knight g3, it just really undermines the white position. So um, a bit of a blunder there with um, knight takes, playing rook g2. Hope you enjoyed that one. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.